Here. John. Here. Sarah. Here. Nate. Here. And Travis says excuse. Uh, pledge of allegiance. Pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I need a motion for a consent agenda. A motion. A motion by Sarah. Do I get a second? Second. Second by Stephanie. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, public input? No. Anything to say, Al? That's a dangerous we, question. We had to get our walk in tonight, so I made him walk down. We can walk down. <laughs> all right. um, 5A, discussion and possible action on posting the position of city clerk. So I asked for this meeting because it occurred to me that we have not done anything to move forward with the clerk and we're running out of time and I, it's really, a, you know, I mean, we're still probably not going to have one as soon as we need to, but um, at least we'll, we'll, we'll be a week ahead. So that's why it's on here. And um, Connie, oh, that was the other thing I wanted you to, the description. Oh, the runoff? Yeah, sorry. Oh, so I can do Connie that, had you? sent me a description, a job description for this particular job, and so we wanted to get council approval to post for it. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I meant to have her print them off for everybody, and I forgot. That was the other thing after that. So we thought about posting for administrator and clerk? Well, we already I think we posted for the, clerk, for the administrator. <laughs> I mean, that's, I guess, the decision that council probably needs to think about is because, you know, Connie does a job right now with two people. So, we've been talking with Pat Callahan. He thinks it'll be very easy to find an administrator or a clerk, but we won't find somebody that does, that does both. And, and truly, it doesn't sound like that's a very normal thing, and in his recommendation probably wouldn't be a good thing to do because if somebody's proficient in the clerk stuff, they're probably not proficient in the stuff that you need them for as the administrator. And if they're a proficient in the administrator stuff, they may not be as proficient in the clerk stuff. We just got really lucky with Connie that she was proficient in both. Um, but in his experience, and he has a lot of experience, it doesn't sound like having somebody do this job, the same job, or the same profession. Doesn't recommend it at all. And whether the clerk position is part-time, full-time, I mean, those are the things that we probably need to decide. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Connie, you might be able to give us some insight probably better than anybody if you think this is a full-time position, a part-time position. Work? Yeah. Um, like, I don't know if you have a recommendation to council. I thought prior to I thought prior to Connie, the clerk position was part-time. No, it was full-time. Yeah, it was time, time, yeah. And we had, Connie, yeah, that's who I thought, but I thought she was part-time. No, so was she was. 30, 32 hours, was it? Oh, that's right, she did have one day off a week. So but she was she 32 got, hours. Okay, so not truly part-time. She got full benefits. She got full benefits, but yeah. All right, all right. Do you... It just depends on what's going on yeah. and do you, rem <laughs> do you remember what she was making, Tanya? She was making 19-something an hour. That's about the number I remember, too. So okay. right now, Christina's deputy clerk, and she's making more than that, so... When, um, when you came here, do you remember what the city administrator made? 65? 60 ish. So, Christina makes $20.63. Okay. An hour is what she told me today. Does that sound right now? Yes. And you're not. Another option would be to, if you, if you don't find anybody qualified, another option would be to hire a utility billing clerk and then split the the, the, the job duties. You're, to you're not hourly, right? You're I salary. am not, no. Yeah. You'd be in trouble. <laughs> Big trouble. <laughs> 
Okay, so what do you want to do? I mean, you're going to have to figure out a wage. Um, well, I would, would the consultants on. offer that up? I don't know about for the clerk, but definitely for the administrator, he will. I've seen some of them, and I, I'm specifically thinking of what I saw for Ely, where it's a range. Yes. X amount to X amount based on and qualifications. Qualifications yeah. and stuff like that. So, so That was for city administrator, though, wasn't it? I know, but I'm just saying, could we kind of follow that same, do we have to set a specific they, wage? No, you don't. The advertisement can go, um, what I usually put in the advertisement is salary based on um, qualifications. qualifications. I think Experience. that. And that, that way you're And not. that would give us a little bit more time, too, to come up with a wage and... Um, I guess we would need to decide whether it's a full-time or a part-time position. Like I said, again, that would depend on the qualifications. If you, you're saying if we didn't get a clerk that was qualified, yeah, we would just have a utility billing person and they would maybe be part-time? Um, yeah, that could be the, the option, but then um, well, you're, you're going to need both. Well, if the, the if the qualifications somehow limit the person from carrying out all of the tasks, then sure, that's the limiting factor. But otherwise, it's we have a list of responsibilities, mm -hmm. and we're looking for someone who fills all of them. Mm -hmm. And is that a full time or a part time position? Is the question. And like I said, it just depends on the qualifications of the person. Most city clerks are full time positions. What might be a part time would be the administrative assistant or utility billing clerk is the way most cities are. So like Christina would be part-time? Yeah, that position would be. But she does a lot she more does, than She does. She also does payroll and accounts payable, which we, is usually a clerk's duties. Could we take some of these stuff and, I mean, she probably does some of this stuff already, doesn't she? She does payroll and accounts payable, which is, like I said again, okay. usually the clerk's duties. That's, does she that's have pretty, the experience to do all of that or no? Um, she's not familiar with uh, all the financial stuff, no. So if we took some of, are you thinking to take some of the job duties from here because Christina is already doing them? I th I Was think that your question, Doug? Was that where you were going with that? Well, if you're, um, I mean, if you're going to say, you know, we hire a city clerk to do all this, I mean, I, I, I'd have to read through this, but I mean, the payroll and what's that one? Payroll and accounts payable. Accounts payable, payable are in is. here. You know, when you eliminate that, where Connie just said that, um, you know, the city the billing clerk would be a part-time one. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to cut Christina down to part-time. Right. You know, no, I don't think she'd want that. No. Either. That wouldn't be fair, anyway. But it's kind of hard to to decide what to actually do until you know who's applying for the job and what their qualifications are. You might get three or you're four. you're saying that maybe Christina could do some of this and leave her full time and then just hire somebody part time for like the financial pieces of it that Christina doesn't know. Yeah, that's always a possibility. But like, again, like I'm saying, as you, do, you never know, you might get three or four people that have been a clerk before that might be really good candidates, but then again, you might get four or five people that have no experience. So it's kind of hard to mm -hmm. plan until you really know who's, who's applied. So uh, can we, again, post it in a way that, that it could be a full-time or part-time position depending upon need? Yeah, you can post it any way you want to and then negotiate when you hire the person. I mean, just to get some information out there so that people know that this is coming up or whatever so we can get at least some people seeing it, some interest in it so that when the time comes we are ready to go. Our hiring policy says that an advertisement shall be published in both the Sun and the Gazette stating the position to be filled, a general description of the duties to be formed, minimum requirements to be met, and a deadline to submit resume and application is what we're required to do according to our... So it doesn't say anything about part-time or full-time? This is full-time. We don't have to... For a full-time position, we have to do this. For a part-time, oh, we... Okay. We, for a part-time, you only have to do it in the Sun. Okay. But I think in this case, you need oh, to... Oh, yeah, I think it needs to go enroll. circulate a little bit further out? I, this is just my opinion, and you can take it and leave it, do whatever you want with it. But given the situation that we're going to be in, where we're going to have a new administrator, I feel like this probably should be a full-time job. 
And the only reason that I say that is we're going to be going through some huge changes and we are going to need the administrator to be able to fully focus on all the projects that we have going on. We have some really big projects going on right now. And it's going to be hard for somebody to come in on those projects and just jump right in, you know, and, and battle through those. So I wouldn't want to take anything away from them having to try to kind of help, you know, because somebody's not here or something like that. So the, the less we can do to try to pull away from that, I think the better off the city is going to be in the long run. It's not ideal to have to hire two people at one time, but that's the situation that we're in. And I just don't want to hire somebody part-time and then make it a worse situation than it is because we didn't just do what we needed to do right from the start because it's going to already be a stressful situation. And Connie, we have in the budget, we have $50,000 and then your $85,000 would typically be in there for the next six months anyway after your contract would be up in December. So right now we have $135,000 budgeted for these two positions, is that? Mm -hmm. Just what do you wanna do? Well, I make a motion that we post. So when someone comes in and gets an application, let's say, do you give them this? Yes. Okay. And I think we can also put it in the Iowa League of Cities. Um, yeah. Because there's usually, that's the, usually the best place, because other clerks would see it. And is Sarah's motion to post it up, or do you need to know whether we post it as full-time full or part-time? I'll uh, post. I, I'm going to motion to post full time. And how many weeks do you want me to run it? I usually do two. Two weeks. If we need to extend it, if we need to extend it after that, we extend it after that. Just kind of like we did the Parks and Rec, right? Yeah. Got a motion for. Well, hold on a second, because we don't have another council meeting, so we have a council meeting next week, and then we don't have another meeting until the following Monday. So we technically could post it for three weeks or two and a half or whatever. What would that be? It's just easy for the for me just to call and say run it again. Yeah. Because we wouldn't be able to tell you though to do that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, yeah. we would be revisiting this. So I'm just until saying run it from now until July 12th. Be then at least on the third or July 13th. Or 13th. Or the Friday, 12. the 10th, next would be the 13th. Friday. Yeah, so if we ran it through July 10th, then at least you could compile what we have and, and present to us at the meeting on the 13th that, hey, we've had a lot of interest and we have plenty of candidates to choose from, or we have nobody. Okay. And we need to run a longer. Yeah, yeah. We could always so that's three weeks. So. Yeah. What? It's three weeks. Three. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. Yep. Okay, yeah. Let's, yeah. So is that your motion? Yes, that's my motion. And I'm seconding her motion. <laughs> you understand that motion? Yep. Okay. A motion a second. Sarah. Aye. Stephanie. Aye. John. Aye. Nate. Aye. All right. Discussion of possible action on the role of consultant in search of city administrator. So I spoke with Pat Pellinghan a couple of times this week, and John and I are actually meeting with him tomorrow to just kind of get this process going. And so in the handout that you just got from Connie, if you look on page 9 and 10, um, there's just a few things that I need to yeah. um, There's some things on that list, and I don't have one to tell you to look at now, so you'll have to just tell me, but he's willing to not do all of that. If there's something that council wants to pick up and will do on their own, then we don't have to pay him to do it. Um, I'm not going to do anything, so just so that you guys know, I, I am, will not be contributing any effort towards that, so I am absolutely 100% in favor of paying him to do all of it, because I know I'm not going to do any of it, but if any of you feel comfortable to step in and do any of those things that, you know, he said one thing that sometimes cities will do is that they'll make up their own job description. Um, so if you guys want to do that or have the knowledge of doing that, we can, you know, not pay him to do that. Do we have one currently? Yeah, do we have the, the administrator equivalent to this? 
I think so. It's in court, the our code. Or I could get one from the lead, probably. I mean, right there, it sounds like a savings, but. Uh, and again, I don't have that frame anymore, so you don't have to see like, yeah. how much that was. I'm trying to find it. Do the description. Fifteen hundred. So it's a pretty good savings. So that's a that would be a good savings. I mean, if we've already got one. Exactly. You know, why, and why it's not changing. To, why pay him to duplicate it or make one very similar to it? Just right. Here's the description. Go get them. Is there anything else on that list? That was just one that he said sometimes cities will. Is there anything else on there that you guys think we would already have or that you would feel comfortable taking on? And it runs over to page 10 a little bit too. So, kind of placement of for advertisements. How much does it usually cost us when we advertise? Um, the Sun is not that expensive. The Gazette, it's a couple hundred, two hundred forty bucks or something like that each time. And does it cost to post on the lead? I don't think so. Because I know he said there was a couple different places that he was going to post to, and I don't know if those charge. But I, I mean, you're definitely paying him for some of his time So the way I'm reading it is, I mean, the most it's going to cost us is thirteen two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And would you budget for it fifty? We did not budget. No. We budgeted fifty for the position, but we did not budget for the consultant. Budget for the new position. What position? We, we didn't budget for the consultant. The budget was already done when we decided to hire him. But did council approve? We was approved it. it. It'll come out of next year's budget. But we'll have to do an amendment to, to cover the cost. Did did we give an amount though? Did we say twelve thousand or something like that? Or? No, I think no, you guys agreed up to the amount that he put in the. Oh okay. But then we were going to look at it to see how if there was some things that we could do on our on our own. Which, if we have a descript a, a job description, that's fifteen hundred dollars right off the exactly. the bottom so line. We're down that, to under twelve right there. Right. So. So. And I'm, I'm okay with him yeah, doing I'm everything guys, except for the job yeah, description. You know, because we're going to be with him tomorrow, and it doesn't have to be set in stone tomorrow. Sure. But so theoretically, you guys could maybe take a peek at it, and at the meeting when he comes on Monday night, if there's something that you look in there and say we could absolutely do this, or I have the ability to do this, or I'm willing to do this, we could always tell him at the meeting on Monday night. You know, we we think we can do that. And John and I would just set that expectation for him tomorrow. You know, like right now, we know that we can do the job description. But council is reviewing it, and then Monday night at the meeting will tell you anything else. Yeah, fair. I think that's He was fair. very, very nice and very easy to work with. And he, you know, one thing that he said um, is that, you know, maybe we hire an interim administrator for now until we kind of get everything situated within mm -hmm. the city because, um, you know, some candidates might not want to come into a lot of what's happening, and we may lose some good candidates just from not wanting to deal with all that. So he thought, you know, maybe it would be in the city's interest to hire an interim administrator for six months or a year and then post for the actual job. And he said if something happens like that, you guys hire an interim person, because he has one in mind that could start literally tomorrow. Um, if you guys hired an interim person and that person ended up doing such a great job that you just decided that you wanted to hire him he wouldn't obviously charge us for any of this stuff because he wouldn't have had to do any of it. So he, he I, my point of telling you that part is he's just a good guy. Like he, he's like, I don't need the money. I just do this. This is my job. I've got a lot of connections within the city. I'll help you guys any way that I can. I 
like so. I felt really comfortable working with him because he's not just trying to right. But if you guys want me to just say to him, we're going to definitely do the job description. And then we'll give you more direction on Monday. I think that uh, sounds. We got the job description, right? I'm pretty sure we have one somewhere. I mean, it's. I mean, I, I know it's in the code. If if not, I can get one from another city, and we can just cut. I mean, I'm. Because I, I, they're pretty standard. I believe I was going to say they're pretty standard. Aren't they? I can call Chris Nosbridge tomorrow and probably get his yeah. job description. But didn't we also combine the job descriptions for your position? Um, we brought you all, on. All we did in the code is say that the city administrator and clerk can be the same person. Okay. So that's all we did. But we didn't change. actually draft a separate no. document. Okay, no. I thought we did. So I so there's two separate job descriptions. I was just doing both. All right. But then yeah, I think we we use them all we got. According to our well. ordinance, we, you can keep it that way because it just says can or can't. So sure. I say yeah. This contact you may be able to call and get his from or hers from. How recently was that one drafted? I'm talking about Mount Chris Vernon. Just right? Mount Vernon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Are you guys comfortable with that then? Or um, Ely just hired a new one, and I think Pat worked with another town that just hired one, so I could. He's call. doing Ely and Eldridge right now, and I think he just placed Eldridge maybe this week, so I think. So, uh, do we need a motion on that, or is it I'd okay? Discussion, possible action on role of consult. I mean, I guess you, when you guys meet with them, say, you know, we're going to probably we're going to have you do it all, except we will provide the job description. Yes. And we'll look at the other stuff, and if there's something else, like come Monday night. He's going to be here Monday night, right? Yeah. If there's something else that. So we would want something on the Monday night agenda. That's there. That's, correct. That, I think it already discussion. is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It, it, you guys are already great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we can work on it. Yes, we can work on it. With him. Okay. Um, at the end of the meeting. Okay. Can you send us the job description that you have? Yep. And um, receive the one from Mount Vernon, maybe or Ely. Right. If we have one, then send those to us yep. in email so yep. we can review we'll them. Send you everything. Yep. You can find. And then we'll be prepared for the Monday meeting. Sounds good. And then just kind of as a side note before we end. So John and I um, met with Travis on Friday to start the union contract negotiations. And then kind of in that meeting, we decided um, that maybe it would be a good idea for us to just meet with all of the employees just to kind of get a feel for how everybody's feeling and just make sure that they know that council's here for them if they need them and just try to keep the lines of communication open. So we're doing that this week. We met with three today meet with the rest tomorrow and then we meet with the insurance carrier tomorrow to uh, do that and then we'll meet with Pat tomorrow um, but then after we get done with all of our meetings we'll come back to you guys and let you know what happened in our meetings and how you know the employees are feeling and if there's anything that we think council needs to address or anything like that um, personnel will bring that recommendation back to you guys when we get done with all of this. Okay, the only one we're not meeting with is the park and rec director. Um, and the reason that we're not meeting with him is because he's just a part-time employee right now. And we don't know that he'll still be the employee come the 22nd when that is on the agenda for the full time. So, so we'll wait until um, that happens and then whoever the park and rec director is at that time, I'll schedule an appointment with that. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Thank so you're meeting with is Ronnie doing our insurance still? Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I can't remember what time. Three o'clock. Okay. And Pat's at noon. So he's the first one, so we'll meet him at noon and then Bonnie at three and then in between there there's some employee stuff. Can we figure anything else? Mm-mm. Do we have any action to take then regarding item two? No, it was nope. just pretty much discussion. All right. All right. We adjourned. All right.